Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advanced Physics section uh, paper 1 uh, in the year 2019. The question was from the topic of capacitors and was based on numeric type question. The question was simple. Uh, I believe most of the students would have done this question comfortably. Let us see what's happening over here. There's a capacitor. The, the, uh, the spacing between the plates of the capacitor has been given D. The region between the capacitor has been filled with n dielectric layers and each dielectric layer is of thickness d by n. So for example, this is one dielectric layer, this is another dielectric layer and so on and so forth. You have filled a lot of dielectric layers. Now n is a very large number. The dielectric constant of the mth layer uh, has been given as k into 1 plus m by n where k might be some constant. So under these conditions, we have to find the capacitance and represent the answer in this term. So there, there, there will be a number alpha and we have to find the value of alpha. So basically, although the question has been given in the discrete format, with, like uh, by this, I mean that there are n dielectric layers and each dielectric layer is distinct from the other. But since n is a very large number, so we can feel as if it's a continuous distribution rather than discrete one. You can think like that. Ki if n is very large, for example, keep on increasing the value of n. So basically, this will the, the, the one particular dielectric will become so thin, it will become so thin that our eyes will not be able to resolve them as two different dielectrics. For example, if I, I, I am looking at two different dielectrics, so basically, I will not be able to resolve them as two different dielectrics if it is so thin, right? So basically, we can consider this whole system as a continuous system rather than discrete one. So now if I go at a distance x, let me do on the next slide. So let's say if we go at distance x and consider a dielectric layer of thickness dx. So remember, this is our mth layer. Let us say this is our mth layer. Now, if uh, the, uh, the thickness of one dielectric is delta is equals to d by n. And how many dielectric layers are in this? There are m layers. So basically, can we say that x will be equals to m into delta? Right? Because m layers and one thickness, one dielectric layer is of thickness delta. So this will become m d by n. Right? Now, if I ask you what is the capacitance of this layer, so you will be you will be saying dc will be equals to epsilon not a by d, sorry k epsilon not a by d, k is the dielectric constant of this layer, which is k into 1 plus m by n, k into 1 plus m by n, so k into epsilon not uh, a by d, d is the actually thickness which is dx over here. Now, all such layers are in series. So basically we can find 1 by c equivalent will be is equals to integration of 1 by dc, right? So this will become dx upon k into 1 plus m by n ko from here can, can I write x by d? If you look at this expression, so m by n will be x by d, okay? And this is epsilon naught a. So value of x will go from 0 say d. This whole separation is d, 0 say d. So from here, 1 upon C current comes out to be 1 upon K epsilon naught A integration of dx by uh, integration of dx by 1 plus x by d, which when integrated becomes 1 plus x by d divided by 1 by d and hence basically it will become multiply. So what does this become? D upon K epsilon naught A ln of 2 minus ln of 1 which is 0 which means c equivalent becomes k epsilon naught a divided by d ln 2 so if you go back this is exactly the term written in the brackets and hence alpha must be 1 so as i said the question was not very difficult. It was a simple question and most of the students in India would have done this. Thank you.